Yo, 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 what's the deal? What's the deal? It's your boy, who is Hendo? And we back talking sports. So, I wanted to talk about um, 2006 Kobe and why I believe that's the greatest player I've ever seen in my entire life. So, I was about 14 around that time. I was a huge, I was a Kobe stan at that point. Like a huge Kobe stan. Like, like I thought, I'm like, bro, this nigga is Jordan, bro. I'm like, he is. So, like, you have to understand at that time, like, Kobe, the team around him was so garbage. So, it gave him, like, more, you know what I'm saying? He had to take more shots and be more of the offense. I didn't see them getting to the playoffs. Personally, if you look at that team he had around him, there's no way he should have made the playoffs in the West, bro. But when you see what's on my screen, you understand. So, these is Kobe's um, per 100 possessions stats, 2006. 45.6 points per game. 6.8 rebounds. Okay, Basically, 46, I'm, I'm rounding, but I just, matter of fact, I just say the numbers. 45.6 points per game, 6.8 rebounds, 5.8 assists per game, 2.9 stocks, I guess it's steals and blocks, 45, 35, 85 splits, which was really good for the 2000s. The, the uh, 45 was like around average, just above average. 49.1 effective field goal percentage. 49.4% on shots 3 to 10 feet from the basket. That's um 9.4% um higher. 45.5% on shots 10 to 16% from the basket. That was plus um, plus 6% higher than the league average at that time. Which is why I laugh at y'all. Kobe haters or st- stat uh, stat watchers when y'all talk about his 44% shooting for his career is really 45%. But when y'all talk about his 44% shooting, bro, Nobody was shooting 50%. Like, no, it wasn't no guards really shooting 50%. No guards, and it was very few forwards. If you were shooting 50 plus percent, for real, for real, you were a, a big man. You were in the paint most of the time, which is what LeBron James was doing. So let me get that out the way. This year, he also made the um, all-defensive team. So, he won the scoring title, averaging 35 points a game. And he made the all-defensive first team. Nobody has done that since. Nobody has done that since. Won the scoring title and got all-defensive first team. Yeah, he was a monster, bro. To me, Kobe got a top five peak of all time. I know they say top 10, but I say top five. Like individually, Kobe, bro, at his peak, literally had damn near no weakness. Like seriously, he was a, a, at worst, he was a good three-point shooter. You know what I'm saying? Excellent mid-range shooter. Excellent free throw shooter. Elite defender. From young to in his prime. When he got a little older, he got a little worse on defense. I say around probably 2011, 2012, 2013. He probably got a little bit. He went from like just being a really good defender. He wasn't elite at that time. He was a good, still a good defender. He still was better than LeBron on defense. <clears throat> but 
but these numbers is just when you think about like how the 2000s was was played it made these numbers even better bro like it make them even look even crazier you know what i'm saying this is per 100 possessions though when you see he per 100 possessions this man average 46 7 and 6 Um, basically 56% true shooting, which is plus 2% above the the uh, average at that time. The average shooting percentage was 44% for the 2000s. That was the average shooting percentage. Showing you how how tough, how defensive, how slow the how slow the pace of the game was. You had to literally score most of the time in a half court setting. The game was played inside out. And I don't understand why some of y'all don't understand that. And still trying to compare 30 points a game in this era versus 30 points a game in that era. It's not the same. 30 points per game in this era is like 20 points per game in the in the 2000s. If he was averaging 20, 22, 23 you were seen as a damn near elite scorer in the 2000s. If you was putting up 25, 30, if you was putting up 30 and shit like AI, Kobe, T-Mac, and shit like that, uh, LeBron too. If you was putting that up, you would look at as one of the best, uh, B-Way too. You would look at as the creme de la creme. Putting up 25 plus 30 points per game. Nowadays, 30 points per game is nothing. The physicality is gone. They're able to uh, carry what was a carry back then. It's not a carry now. It's less physicality. More possessions. The speed of the game. And Why can't y'all understand that? It's not shitting on this era. It's just telling the truth. You feel what I'm saying? But yeah, 2006 Kobe is probably the greatest player I've ever seen in my life. Like, seriously, bro. And he was an animal on defense, too, still. An animal. I used to love him, love watching him play against T-Mac, um, play against D-Wade, Melo, and Bron. I used to love watching him play against them. Especially when Bron was at uh was like start winning the um, MVPs and all that, and they start running their mouth. And I watched Kobe. You can go look up this particular possession where Kobe he's taking LeBron ninety four feet and literally makes him like knock the ball out of bounds. Look at the All Star game. Like, Kobe routinely showed you there's a way to guard LeBron. It's a way to guard T-Mac. He got cooked, too. Kobe wasn't perfect. Kobe wasn't perfect at all. But, but when it mattered, that boy was locking down. Whatever you needed the team to do, he would do, especially around this time. He basically was their whole offense. And in this, And he was a really good playmaker, too. At, around this time, because he had to be. Nobody could really create their own shot except for Lamar Odom. So he had to be. He had to be the primary scorer, the primary playmaker. I don't think people understand that too. Kobe was the unofficial point guard to those three P teams. They didn't really have no point guard. That's why Kobe always led them in assists. You know what I'm saying? So. Yeah, man, this was a time right here. These numbers is just crazy. Like, crazy. And like I said, it's even crazier when you think about these numbers would be crazy today. But when you think about the 2000s and house and when you think about the 2000s, 
where they scored 96 points per game. And it's one of the slowest pace eras. These numbers make you, these numbers be like, damn, I see why niggas try to, like, I see why niggas want to put him in the GOAT debate. I saw something that said you can't be in the GOAT debate with one MVP. I'm like, that's fine. That's fine. But I know, pl- I know plenty, I know plenty of guys that are in the GOAT debate. Say, so you can't have, you can't be in the GOAT debate without, uh, with just one MVP. But I know plenty of guys, bro. Dan Marino. Aaron Rodgers, some people want to call him, put him in the go to bail. He's the greatest. You know what I'm saying? One, you can say that. One thing you can't say is in any other sport, a guy that has a losing record in the championship game is looked at as the GOAT. Name one sport. Soccer. Ain't nobody that's got a losing record in the World Cup or nothing. Messi and Cristiano and Ronaldo, they don't got losing records at the highest clip. Tennis, Serena Williams, uh, Rafael Nadal, uh, Djokovic. None of them have losing records at the Wimbledon or here or there. Tiger Woods, Phil Mickelson. Those guys don't have losing records at the U.S. Open or nothing like that. Hockey. You got Wayne Gretzky, other players like that. They don't have losing records in the championship game. They're not looking at Tom Brady as the GOAT because he 3-7 and seven in the finals and, and got all these MVPs. No. So, there's that. But, yeah, man, this is my opinion, dog. Let me know what y'all think in the comments section about um, 2006 Kobe. If you get to watch him, if you didn't, let me know what you think, man. Listen, who is him, though? I'm out. Peace.